Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher J, and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are going to discuss another topic, which is solving problems involving parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. So focus muna tayo sa parallelogram. Number one, given quadrilateral wish is a parallelogram. So meron tayong tatlong problems dito, or tatlong... Uh, uh, sasagutan, focus muna tayo sa letter A. So, if the measurement of angle H is equal to X plus 15 and the measurement of angle I is equal to 2X plus 5, what is the measurement of angle H? So, this is now the figure or the diagram. So, the given is angle H and angle I. So, we all know that angle H and angle I are congruent. So, we use the property in a parallelogram, any two opposite angles are congruent. So, measurement of angle H is congruent to measurement of angle I. By substitution, angle H is equal to X plus 15 and angle I is equal to 2X plus 5. And then simplify we have 15 minus 5, transpose ko po yung positive 5 to left side, is equal to, and then, is equal to 2x minus x, transpose ko po yung positive x to right side. And then simplify, 15 minus 5 is equal to 10, is equal to 2x minus x, that is equal to x. So the value of x is equal to 10. Pero ang hinahanap natin ay yung measurement ng angle H. Since the measurement of angle H is equal to X plus 15, you are going to substitute the value of X, which is 10. So, we have the measurement of angle H is equal to 10 plus 15, and measurement of angle H now is equal to 25. So, angle H is 25 degrees. Next, letter B. If WI or if segment WI is equal to 3Y plus 3 and segment HS is equal to Y plus 13, how long is HS? So yung WI at saka HS ay congruent po sila. So we apply the property in a parallelogram, any two opposite sides are congruent. So... WI is congruent to HS. By substitution, we have 3Y plus 3 is equal to Y plus 13. Simplify, we have 3Y minus Y, transpose ko po yung Y, is equal to 13 minus 3. And then simplify, 3Y minus Y, that is equal to 2Y, is equal to 13 minus 3, that is equal to 10. And then using MPE, Y now is equal to 5. Since ang inahanap is HS or segment HS, HS is equal to Y plus 13. And then substitute the value of Y which is 5. We have HS is equal to 5 plus 13. And then segment HS now is equal to 18. So ito po ay 18. Okay. Next, letter C, which is a rectangle and its perimeter is 56 centimeters. One side is 5 centimeters less than twice the other side. What are its dimensions and how large is the area? So, ang gagawin muna natin is isulat muna natin yung given. Our perimeter po is 56 centimeters. And then sabi dito one side is less one one side is 5 less than twice the other side. So let's say yung length natin that is one side is equal to twice or 2s minus 5. So ito po yan. Okay? And then yung isang side or that is the width 
and that is equal to S. Okay? And then, since the formula in getting the perimeter of a rectangle is, equal, uh, is P is equal to 2 times the quantity L plus W. Substitute po natin since given na yung perimeter po, length at saka width, we have 56 is equal to 2 times yung length natin which is 2S minus 5 plus ang width natin ay S. Right? And then, simplify natin. We have 56 is equal to 2. Simplify po natin yan. We have 2S plus S that is 3S minus 5. Simplify. 56 is equal to 2 times 3s, that is 6s, minus, or 2 times negative 5, that is negative 10. And then, simplify, 56, by using addition property of equality, so we have 66 is equal to 6s. And then, solve for s, by using uh, MPE, s now is equal to 11. And, since dimensions po yung hinahanap at saka area, solve muna natin yung dimensions. Yung S po ay 11, which is, this is the width now. Width is equal to 11. Okay? And then solve for length. L is equal to 2S minus 5. And then substitute the value of S, which is 11. So we have 2 times 11 minus 5. Okay? Then simplify natin yan. L now is, or the length is, 17 units. So the dimensions of the rectangle are 17 centi uh, 11 centimeters by 17 centimeters. So nakuha na natin yung dimensions. And then ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is kukunin natin yung area. We all know that the formula in getting the area of a rectangle is A is equal to length times width. Since meron na tayong width, meron na tayong length, substitution na lang po. A is equal to, ang length natin is 17, ang width natin ay 11. So, 17 times 11, that is 187. So, our the area is equal to 187 square centimeters. Second example, given quadrilateral post, is an isosceles trapezoid with segment OS is equal is parallel to segment PT. Segment ER is its median. So focus muna tayo sa letter A. If OS or segment OS is equal to 3x minus 2, PT or segment PT is 2x plus 10, ER is equal to 14, how long is each space? So, ito yung figure po natin. Okay? Alam natin na OS is parallel to PT. And then, ang ER natin, that is the median. So, since meron tayong, sabi niya, OS ang given, OS and PT, and then ER. So, we all know that the formula in getting the median or the base po of an isosceles trapezoid or trapezoid, ER is equal to OS plus PT all over 2. So, ito yung given natin. Kasi nga, pag kinuha natin si median, i-add natin yung, yung measurement or length ng dalawang bases divided by 2. Okay? By substitution, ang ER natin is 14 is equal to, ang OS natin is 3x minus 2, plus, ang uh, PT natin is 2x plus 10 all over 2. Simplify, simplify muna natin po yung ating numerator dito. So, we have 14 is equal to 5x plus 8, all over 2. And then, using cross multiplication method, okay, so we have 28 is equal to 5x plus 8. Simplify by subtraction property of equality, we have 20 is equal to 5x. And then MPE, we have x is equal to 4 now. So since x is equal to 4, pero ang tinatanong po is how long is each base? 
So, solve muna natin yung OS, which is OS is equal to 3x minus 2. Substitute the value of x, which is 4. So, 3 times 4 minus 2, and that is equal to 10. So, segment OS is equal to 10. Ang ER natin kanina is 14, tama? And then, solve for segment PT, which is equal to 2x plus 10. And then, substitute the value of x, which is 4. So, we have 2 times 4 plus 10. And, this is equal to 18. So, PT is equal to 18. So, isang base natin is 10. Yung isang base natin ay 18. Letter B. If the measurement of angle P is 2x plus 5, measurement of angle O is 3x minus 10, what is the measurement of angle T? So, angle P yung given at saka angle O. So, the relationship between these two angles are uh, supplementary angles. Okay? Ibig sabihin, the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. Okay? So, by substitution, 2x plus 5 plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 180. Simplify, 2x plus 3x, that is 5x. 5 minus 10, that is negative 5, is equal to 180. Using addition property of equality, you have 5x is equal to 185. Using MPE, x now is equal to 37. So, the value of x is equal to 37. Pero ang hinahanap dito is yung angle, or the measurement of angle T. We all know that angle P is congruent to angle T. Kasi isosceles po yan. Tama? Base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, solve natin yung P. Okay? So, measurement ng angle P, which is 2x plus 5. Then, substitution, we have 2 times... 37 plus 5. Then simplify. The measurement of angle P now is 79. Or this is 79 degrees. Kung 79 degrees si angle P, angle T is also 79 degrees. Okay, let's have letter C. One base is twice the other and ER is 6 centimeters long. If its perimeter is 27 centimeters, how long is each leg? So, ang gagawin muna natin is, uh, sulat muna natin yung given, which is, let base sub 2, or b sub 2, is equal to twice x, or 2x, kasi sabi niya, one base is twice the other. And then, let b sub 1 is equal to x. And then, yung perimeter natin is 27 centimeters. And then, yung median natin is 6 centimeters. So, yung OS natin is x. Yung PT natin is, or yung isang base na din natin ay 2x. And then, uh, yung leg naman, gagawin nating y. Okay? Ayan po. So, next natin is using the formula or getting the, the length of our median, which is ER is equal to x plus 2x, that is the sum of the bases, divided by 2. And then, since ang ER is 6, substitute lang po natin, which is 6 is equal to 3x over 2. And then, simplify, 12 is equal to 3x. Then, using MPE, x now is equal to 4. Okay? Since meron tayong perimeter yung sabi niya, which is 27 centimeters, pwede na natin isolve po yung nawawalang uh, or yung measurement ng ating leg. Since ang perimeter po, pag sinabing perimeter, kunin natin lahat ng measurements ng bawat legs po ng isosceles trapezoid na yan, and then i-add po natin. So, P is equal to OS plus ST plus PT plus OP. Since ang perimeter natin is 27, okay, ang OS natin ay, since yung OS po ay X, yun po yung 4. Tama? And then, ST natin, which is Y, right? Plus, yung PT natin, which is, sabi niya, PT, that is equal to 2X. Pero ang X natin ay 4. So, 2 times 4, that is equal to 8. And then, ayan po. 
Okay? Plus, yung OP natin that is equal to Y. Simplify natin, 27 is equal to 4 plus Y plus 8 plus Y. So, we have 27 is equal to 2Y plus 12. And then, subtraction property of equality, we have 27 minus 12 is equal to 2Y. Simplify, 27 minus 12, that is 15, is equal to 2Y. Applying MPE, Y now is equal to 7.5. So, each leg of this isosceles trapezoid is 7.5 centimeters long. Let's have number 3. Given quadrilateral like is a kite with segment LI is congruent to segment IK and LE is congruent to KE. So, Nahin muna natin isolve yung letter A. LE is twice LI. If its perimeter is 21 centimeters, how long is LE? So, ito yung figure po natin dyan. Sabi niya, LI kasi is congruent to IK. So, tama po yun. And then, LE is congruent to KE. Yan po. Sabi niya, LE is twice LI. So, let LE is equal to 2x. And then let Li be x. And our perimeter is 21 centimeters. So, kung x si Li, x din po si Ik. And then, kung si Li ay twice x, si Ke rin po, twice x. Okay? Since our perimeter is 21, di ba pang pagkuha po ng perimeter po, just add all the measurement uh, ng bawat sides. Okay? So, ayan. Okay? So, find LE. Okay? So, ang perimeter natin is P is equal to LI plus IK plus KE plus LE. Substitution po, ang perimeter natin is 21 plus ang LI natin tsaka IK is X. So, we have X plus X plus KE natin is 2X, and then LE natin is 2X. So, simplify. 21 is equal to 6X. So, X plus X plus 2X plus 2X, that is 6X. And then, applying MPE, X now is equal to 3.5. So, 3.5 yung, yung value ng X. Pero ang hinahanap is yung LE. Ang LE natin is twice X or 2X. Substitute nyo lang po yung value ng x, which is 3.5. Le now is equal to 7 units or 7 centimeters. Okay? Next, letter B. What is its area if one of the diagonals is 4 more than the other diagonal? And IE plus LK is equal to 16 inches. So, sabi niya, given muna tayo, IE is X plus 4. So, yung isang diagonal daw po ay uh, 4 more than the other diagonal. So, let IE be is, is equal to X plus 4. Yung LK natin, that is X. Okay? And then, sabi niya, IE plus LK is equal to 16. So, we are going to find the area. Solution, since IE is equal to... IE plus LK is equal to 16. Substitute nyo lang po yung IE, which is X plus 4, and LK, which is X. Ayan po. So, X plus 4 plus X is equal to 16. Simplify, 2X plus 4 is equal to 16. Applying subtraction property of equality, we have 2X is equal to 16 minus 4. So, we have 2X is equal to 12. Applying MPE, we have x now is equal to 6. So, the value of x is equal to 6. Kunin natin yung diagonal. Since LK is equal to x, so, yung isang diagonal po natin ay 6. Okay, 6 po yan. And then, yung IE natin, yung isang diagonal po, which is x plus 4, substitute nyo po yon yung value ng x, which is 6. Okay. And so, IE now is equal to 6 plus 4. IE is equal to 10. So, 10 po yung isang ating diagonal. 
So, getting the area, alam natin ang formula po in getting the area of a kite is A is equal to uh, the product of its diagonals, just like LK times IE divided by 2. Substitution, LK natin is 6, IE natin is 10 divided by 2. So, ang area natin ngayon is 30 square inches. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or clarifications, just type your question po sa ating comment section. Keep safe and God bless.